Okay, so the last trailer I'm gonna talk about that came out this past weekend during the annual Comic-Con trailer apocalypse for 2016 is the second trailer for Doctor Strange. It's actually kind of funny, the last trailer apocalypse we got also featured a trailer for Fantastic Beasts and Doctor Strange. Both really big movies that are coming out this November that I'm really looking forward to. So hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And yeah, this is the last one I'm gonna make a video about unless you really want me to do a video about the Justice League footage. But I figured that movie is a year and a half away, so why bother? But yeah, let's talk about Doctor Strange, the newest addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this trailer has some really trippy shit. Like, I've actually been seeing a lot of trippy shit in the stuff I've seen recently. But this trailer, dudes, do not see this movie while you're under the influence of anything when it comes out. Because you will die. But seriously though, like, the first weird thing you see in this trailer is like, the world opening up. You see Stephen Strange and the Ancient One, and the world opens up like this weird glass kaleidoscope type thing. They walk through, Stephen Strange is looking around like, oh my god, what's going on? What the hell did you put in my drink? Yeah, this trailer's got everyone tripping balls. And then you see the new Marvel Studios logo, and I'm actually not a big fan of it. I know it has nothing to do with the trailer or the movie, but it's in there. And I don't hate it or anything, but... I don't really love it either. However, one other thing this trailer does is just confirm that Marvel Studios has the best visual effects ever! Honestly, that one scene with the dude in the yellow cloak just going like this and you see the space around him just warping and distorting. Like, I honestly truly believe that that dude is actually warping space. I really don't feel like CG was used at all in that scene. It looks that real. It's awesome. So I guess these mystic arts people have, like, access to other dimensions, other planes of frequency. Dimensions where apparently the world can be divided into cubes. I know. It's weird. It's trippy. They can teleport by opening portals. They step through the portal and then you hear Benedict Cumberbatch's American accent again. And yeah, it does sound really weird to hear him talk like that. In fact, I almost would prefer him using his British accent. I feel like that would work for Doctor Strange. But to me, it doesn't sound that bad. It just sounds really different. I'm gonna have to get used to it. However, what did I say in my video about the first trailer for this film? Which did not feature any sort of Doctor Strange kicking ass. I said we will probably see it in the next trailer and sure enough, you see him using all sorts of weird magic like taking beams of energy and using it like a whip. You see him trying to stand his ground to hold his own against magic, it's all like around him and shit. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting, and it looks really awesome. And of course we got Mads Mikkelsen, yes, I learned how to pronounce his last name, Mads Mikkelsen, as Cassilius, the villain in this film. You see him doing some other magic stuff, like warping the space around him. He says something along the lines of, I am death and pain. I'm like, alright dude, you're quoting Smog by saying, I am death. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a great villain, why? Because he's Mads Mikkelsen, he's an awesome villain, as we all saw in Casino Royale. You remember in my video about the Rogue One tease? Mads Mikkelsen is gonna be in that film as well. And I said, yeah, he's gonna be a great villain because he's always creepy. You want proof of that? Watch Casino Royale. That scene where he had James Bond tied up in the chair? Yeah. So yeah, he should be really cool in this movie. Even though like the cracked skin around his eyes really looks like makeup. I mean, I know it is makeup, but the point is that it looks like makeup. It doesn't look like actual cracked skin. It looks like makeup. Just a note of observation. Chihuahua Edge 4 looks really promising as Baron Mordo, which from what I understand, I watched the animated 2007 Doctor Strange film and Baron Mordo was a lot like Loki. You know, he's like, the one who is also in training from the Ancient One. And then Doctor Strange comes along and it kind of steals the spotlight and Baron Mordo's like, what the fuck, that just happened to me? And then he turns evil and tries to beat the shit out of Doctor Strange. Kind of like Loki and Thor. I don't know, maybe they're saving that arc for a later Doctor Strange film. Maybe they'll plant the seeds for it in here. But Chihuahua Edge of Four is a really good actor, so yeah, I mean, he'll kick ass either way. He'll kick ass as a good guy and a bad guy. But yeah, in the end, this film still looks really cool because it's a Marvel movie. I'm automatically excited for it. I'm probably gonna see it in 3D, which means... <laughs> This trailer still probably doesn't feature the trippiest this movie has to show, and that they're saving that for the movie itself. To which I say, hey, bring it on, I'm ready. There's actually a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to from Marvel right now that they announced at Comic-Con. Like Iron Fist, I'm really looking forward to that, and The Defenders, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 bringing in Ghost Rider, I was like, yes! What did I say? I said Season 4 has to bring in a completely new concept like Season 2 did. So they bring in Ghost Rider, and I fucking love Ghost Rider, so I'm like, yes, thank you! So yeah, Marvel's doing pretty well right now, and the Marvel vs. DC game is strong right now, I love it! Makes this superhero fan very happy. So, the second trailer for Doctor Strange. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.